Hello cybersecurity professionals, hope everybody's having a lovely day. Today's topic of discussion is going to be digital signatures. Let's go ahead. Starting with the very definition first. So what is a digital signature? Digital signature, it is an electronic or encrypted stamp of authentication, remember that, on digital information or electronic documents. So it's basically a signature that confirms that the information is originating, originated from the site and has not been altered so basically it is a proof of origin now once again it's very important for you to know how public key cryptography or PKI public key infrastructure works I've made a separate video on that one not specifically PKI but how hashing and encryption works you might want to check out this video at the cards that will appear all right so let me try to explain how a digital signature is issued or how it works with the help of a diagram now remember you're not doing it manually you there to create a digital signature or a signing software there yeah, you can use an email program that is used to provide one-way hash function uh, to generate electronically signed data okay uh, now the first step we got our signed document or the data uh, that is unhashed now we go ahead and use any one of the hashing algorithms available and generate a hash for the data now the next step we encrypt the hash using the public key infrastructure or whereas in this case we use the private key to encrypt the data which can only be decrypted using a public key now the reason for encrypting the hash instead of the entire message which you saw initially or the document is that because hash function can con convert the input into a fixed length and which is usually much shorter this saves time as hash hashing is much faster basically hashing confirms the integrity of the data so anything if in the document or the original data changes the hash would also change now the next step you try to generate the hash once again which obviously will be the same hash value and should be the same hash value as the original one and you decrypt the hash using the this time a public key encryption remember we encrypted the data using the private key so it can be decrypted using only its own public key if both the hashes match which means the data is verified and the data has not been tampered with now this entire process that we went through establishes a few important things it provides proof of authenticity because the data is still intact because the hash is matched data integrity obviously the data is still the same so the integrity of the data is matched non repudiation you might want to have to study this one because non repudiation basically means that the person cannot deny sending the message Okay. Now, of course, the video isn't complete if I don't explain the different classes and where can these digital signatures be used. Starting with the classes, beginning with class one. So class one provides the basic level of security and it cannot be used for any legal businesses or documents and can only be validated based on the email addresses, e email ID or username. So as I said before, class one signatures just provide the basic level of security and are used for only low risk environments class 2 this is where it starts getting a bit more serious this is where we used most of the digital signatures you would see or come across when you file for your tax documents or your form 16 is where you would see it class 2 digital signatures are used in environments where the risk on the consequences of data compromise is basically moderate and the signatures that are in that document it is most of the time is pre-verified against the database to authenticate the signer's identity remember that class 3 this is where the things get really serious this is the highest level of digital signatures which you can apply at this point of time so the class 3 digital signature requires a person or organization to be present physically present in front of the certifying authority to prove that their identity before signing it so basically you would use uh, class 3 digital signature for e-auctions e-ticketing e-tendering or code filings and such environments 
consequences of security failure is very high for class 3 digital signatures. Next one, where are these digital signatures being used? I'll give you a few examples here. First of all, government. So government uses digital signatures to publish their electronic versions of you know, the budget, public, private laws, and various bills with digital signatures proving that data came from authentication authenticated sources healthcare uh, digital signatures are used here by healthcare industry to improve their efficiency of treatment and administrative process manufacturing so manufacturing companies use digital signatures to speed up their process including their product design quality assurance and manufacturing enhancements basically data integrity financial services very important one so digital signatures are used here for contracts paperless bankings loan processing and insurance documentation you would find these very common if you're dealing with any kind of financial documents whenever you deal with any bank and last one interesting one cryptocurrencies so digital signatures are also used in bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies to authenticate the blockchain hope i was able to explain that now of course this video is just to get you started with what is a digital signature and i'll refer some links below so you can read or go through them and gain more knowledge on how digital signature works overall i'd also like to bring this to your attention that if you need any kind of cybersecurity consultation or training at a very basic level you can contact me through the email address given below and i shall get back to you within 24 hours all right with that i conclude the video for digital signatures at the very least share this video with family and friends whom you think would benefit from watching this video and i wish everybody all the very best bye now